Hello everyone, my name is BC and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more FPS in Minecraft 1.16 or 1.16.1 and um, as you guys know I personally have a pretty beefy PC meaning that I get pretty decent frame rates but there is a way of increasing frame rates and I kind of wanted to make this tutorial for you hello buddy <laughs> but I kind of wanted to make this tutorial for you guys because I know a lot of my viewers and my audience don't have as beefy PCs as me but still want to play the new uh, 1.16 features so let's go into the nether and compare the frame rates in the overworld and in the actual nether so my frame rates in the overworld I mean at the moment I'm, I'm in a fresh world so I'm kind of getting an average of 200 frames yeah I'm kind of just below 200 goes above sometimes it goes to 300 etc etc et if we go to the nether um, that number drops um, a little bit quite significantly um, it, it just maxes out at 200 for my computer uh, especially if we go into like this crimson forest or this red forest I think this is the crimson forest with the particles and everything and the pigs and the lava and everything else generating my frame rate suffers and everyone's frame rate would suffer especially if you don't have a, a very very beautiful PC but this is about to change and it will allow you to play play Minecraft 1.16 with a very very good performance and be able to enjoy all these brand new features. Just before we get into the video, I just want to do the question slash comment of the video. And today's comment of the video is by J Peter Dexter Boys, and they say you are the best person I've ever seen. Thank you so much. Oh my god, that is so sweet. Thank you so so much to you and to everybody else who's been subscribing to the channel. You guys absolutely smashed it. If you guys want to see more of these videos, or if you enjoy in general uh, and want to join the BC squad, subscribe. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that you guys want to do is install Optifine. I have installed Optifine um, from Minecraft 1.16.1. It is out finally. The pre-release is out at the time of recording this video. If you guys don't know how to install Optifine, I have recently made a video on how to do that. So go and check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But as you can see, significantly, my frame rates have already improved. I'm getting... 300, 400 sometimes. Let me let me go in first person. Um, yeah, like this is crazy. It, it's improved by at least 100 frames. I haven't changed any settings. The settings are still on default and everything the way they were with the vanilla Minecraft. And let's go into the nether. And as you can see, the nether has increased as well. We are getting above 200, 260. 280, 90, that's great, 300, we weren't getting about three, like, we weren't even in the 300 range, and now, it's like, without even doing anything, just installing this add-on to the Minecraft, it just increased my frame rates by 100, this may increase your frame rates by 100, this may only increase your frame rates by maybe 10 frames, I don't know, but anything's helpful, but now I'm going to show you guys how to increase your frame rates to its maximum potential so then you could possibly even get to a thousand frames let's see if we can get to a thousand frames per second so what you want to do is press the escape button and after you press the escape button go into options once you're on options go into video settings and what we're basically going to be doing is turning down the graphical settings and graphical settings can be really intense on your computer so turning them down will increase your performance but on the other hand your game isn't going to look as nice so you're gonna have to sacrifice something you either have a really really laggy game which looks beautiful or a game that doesn't look as beautiful but plays really well and you are going to have a lot of performance so first things first graphics turn that to fast that will definitely increase your frame rates and then also a maximum lighting this is probably like the toughest thing so if you turn that off that will definitely increase your frame rate this is really up to you for the smooth lighting level um, I'm going to keep on 100 or it doesn't really matter. Uh, GUI scale doesn't matter. Brightness doesn't matter. Dynamic lights. Um, it could affect your frame rate here and there. We're going to leave this off. Shaders. We're not enabling any shaders. Details. We're going to go on details. Clouds. Um, let's just keep everything on default because, hey, why not? Um, in theory, you can put your clouds to fancy and have everything 
looking really really bad and same for your trees put them to for example fancy but then everything about else is going to look much worse and you're still going to have that performance but the best performance in order to get your peak performance keep just everything on default there we go uh, press ok animations turn them all off we're going to get rid of all the particles and everything and then render distance this is the big one Personally, me, I love playing on render distance 12. This render distance is just a perfect balance between far and the normal. It's sort of in between, but if you don't have a strong enough PC, I would recommend dropping it down to eight or possibly even dropping it down to like six. Um, anything below six, it, it gets a little bit tough to play, especially when you're traveling as you cannot see as far as you would like to. But six, let's just keep it on six. Frame rate, keep that unlimited. View bobbing, that shouldn't really affect anything. Um, use VBOS, that shouldn't really affect anything. And neither, the crosshair shouldn't affect anything. Dynamic FOV. Um, that in theory doesn't affect anything. You can turn that off if you like to. I'm going to keep it on quality. Let's go on to here and um, none of these settings should really affect anything. I mean, if you turn this on, you're going to have a lot more lag. Same as the uh, anti-aliasing, that's going to give you more lag. But one, if this is on default, it shouldn't affect anything. Uh, performance, um, make sure to turn a smooth FPS on, fast render on, um and smooth oh fast math as well yeah that's that's a very important one that's going to give you extra frame rates it's just gonna utilize your cpu and the performance that never gets used on your computer in order to give that extra boost in frame rates and everything else i think it should be left on default now you press done and we can go on other and in other um you can show fps and stuff like that but i wouldn't touch anything in this settings over here and now let's have a look at the fps um f3 we we were just hitting 500 just a second ago there we go 400 let me go on first person just to give this a fair um how, how do i go in first person there we go uh, my brain just froze for a second but as you can see we are getting much better frame rates well, kind of the same, but <laughs> in theory, they should be much better. We are in another. Uh, let me turn off uh, one setting, which is smooth FPS, because sometimes that limits your frame rates. There we go. Yeah. Turn off smooth FPS. That That's not needed. Um, here we go. <laughs> we're hitting the 500s. Um, whoa, we were close to 600 there. That's crazy. That's crazy. It is jumping a little bit with the frame rate. So if you have smooth FPS off, the frame rates will really jump. If you have it on, it will kind of keep it on the lowest frame rate. Well, that really scared me. On the lowest frame rates that um, your PC is capable of. Kind of like on stable frame rates. That makes sense. But we're hitting 500s in the nether. Let's have a look how much we're going to hit in the overworld instantly 600 oh that's that's crazy what about if we really go hard on the render distance what about if we do this and this smooth lighting what about if we actually turn this off oh my god that's 800 <laughs> that's crazy 800 frames like i bet we could probably hit a thousand if we really wanted to um let's see if we can change any other settings um i don't think we can but this is crazy if you're if you're playing on any sort of pc and you want to double your frame rates so if you normally get 300 and you want 600 then just copy what i just did in this video and you're gonna get absolutely amazing frame rates with the minecraft looking like it's a floating island so um i would recommend keeping your like chunks on at least six just so you can see a little bit of land so you're not like closed off and i'm still getting pretty decent frame rates like double than i normally would so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like if you really really loved it then make sure to subscribe thank you so 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 much for watching take care everybody and bye bye